Hi, I'm Blachi Davila. I'm one of the bone marrow transplant doctors here at Children's National, and uh, I specialize in transplant for non-malignant disorders. TATMA stands for Transplant Associated Thrombotic Microangiopathy. It's a complication of bone marrow transplant that results in damage to the patient's blood vessels and to their lining. This makes them more prone to leakage and to clotting. Typically, organ injury happens from the conditioning regimen or from immunosuppressive medications that we use post-transplant. Uh, these medications can activate inflammatory pathways, in particular a system called complement. And when we have persistent complement activation, that can worsen damage to the blood vessel and to the body's organs. So some of the most common signs of TATMA are high blood pressure, low counts, in particular low platelets and low hemoglobin, and elevated markers of cell breakdown. This includes enzymes like LDH or bilirubin. Uh, in addition to all these lab values, TMA can also affect organs, in particular the heart and the kidneys, so we tend to monitor the function of those. Like we mentioned before, this is associated with tissue damage. So patients that receive a very intense or myeloablative conditioning regimen for transplant are the ones that are at highest risk for this complication particularly when they also use medications called calcineurin inhibitor for graft versus prophylaxis. Uh, because any inflammation can worsen TATMA, there are also particular infections post-transplant that will increase your risk of TMA. The best way of preventing the disease is preventing tissue damage. Um, and so here we are very good at trying to minimize the condition and regimen that patients get pre-transplant. Uh, once TMA is diagnosed, however, there is a medication called eculistumab that blocks complement activation, and that helps us control disease until the tissue damage is repaired.